Hello and welcome to WePC Benchmarks. My name is Seb and today I'm taking a look at Kenna, Bridge of Spirits. I benchmarked the game the other day and it performed fairly well, but there is always room for improvements. And especially with low-end hardware, it's always nice to squeeze out the most performance without losing the beauty of a game. For the test, I used an RX 580 and in ultra settings, that gets us an average of 44 FPS. With the custom settings I've configured, I managed to increase this average to around 65 FPS. To get this, I checked through each of the settings one by one, comparing the average frame rate for each of them to ultra settings, and picked the ones that gained the most frame rate, but still kept the good quality of the game. So, I'll take you through the settings now. Starting off in the basic graphics settings, there's not much to change. It will just need adjusting to your own monitor, and changing the API if your hardware doesn't support the newer DirectX versions. Moving on to the advanced settings, and the first option is for visible rot. Which is not for if you can see the decay in the game, but rather see the adorable little buddies you collect in the game. And why would you want to lower the amount of them? But honestly, this didn't affect my performance too much, so there's no need to lower it from all, unless by the end of the game you have way too many. Next, you have screen percentage, and that's for resolution scaling, and so you can leave this on 100 for keeping it at your native resolution. Next is the FPS limit, and that I'd put to unlimited, unless you do have stuttering. There you can set this to about your refresh rate, or close to the average frame rate you get. This should smooth out your experience. Then you have depth of field and motion blur, both of which I'd personally turn off, as they're just camera effects that I don't enjoy, and that don't actually affect your performance that much. The next option is for volumetric fog, which I'll set to medium. The same for ambient occlusion and post-process quality, as they all have strong effects on the average frame rate, but not in the visual quality. Then are textures, which we just turned down to high, as it did make some stuff very blocky and pixelated, but didn't have too big of an effect on the frame rate. Next up is the foliage, and you turn that down to medium. And the last option is for shadows, which has a great effect on frame rate, and turning it down to medium is the best in between for it. As between the highest and lowest settings, this did change around 15 FPS. So here you have it, the best settings for Canna Bridge of Spirits. They have gained us around 21 FPS, sitting now around 65 FPS, a nice 48% increase in performance. So quite an improvement in frame rate, and without losing that much quality in the visuals. It is a very nice looking game, and so keeping that visual quality is quite important. And as you can see, we have managed to keep that in control, and you can now enjoy that visual quality at a smooth FPS. And so I hope this has been of help to you, and thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.